Hi, Libra. Couple announcements before I get the read started. Um, I'm going to be offering personal readings now, so the link is going to be below. There's going to be one one question read, which is basically like a three card spread, but I wanna make sure the question gets answered, so if we have to pull clarifiers, we pull clarifiers. There's going to be another spread that's going to be past, present, future, three cards for love, three cards for career, three cards for questions answered, so you still get to ask a question, and three cards for messages from your spirit guide. So, check that out. And uh, with that being said, let me hit shuffle for you guys for the last week of November. <laughs> I really, re I really, 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 really like you. Do you like me? Because I want to. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, do you guys really, 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 really like someone, Libra? I think your reading last week was like you had just met somebody who was basically your like twin flame soulmate. So I think maybe you guys are still in this like hi. So let's get into the personal reading for you guys. Again, like last week, it's personal energy, how they're viewing you, how they feel about you, messages to you, and energy you can expect moving forward into the week. So, personal energy going into this week, the moon. I'm going to clarify this, because for me, the moon can mean a lot of different things. The feeling I'm getting from this one is that you guys are in a very emotional, intuitive state. But let's clarify it like you guys are embarking on this journey where you're just very in this emotionally intuitive state and the moon is like dark and sensual you might be embracing that dark side of yours Libra the three of swords no 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 not if I really 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 like you moving away from heartbreak six of swords were you guys really heartbroken and then you met this person and now you're just, your heart is all patched up because you have gone away from the heartbreak? Huh. Libra, let us see how they're viewing you. Were you guys with people who used to be players? They're not players. Oh, you guys used to be a player. <laughs> you weren't with somebody who was a player. You were a player. You were, you was juggling some people. Oh, but you found your soulmate. So you ain't juggling no more, Libra. Oh, how nice is that? Yep. You are not two of wands. There's a lot of passion in this relationship. This person views you as their soulmate. They saw you as someone who was juggling a lot before, but I think now they know that you're kind of like, you guys both have this knowing that it's, like, the two of you. So, let's see how they feel about you. Eight of Cups. Huh. Is this somebody from your past? Somebody that you're in a cycle with, maybe? Somebody that keeps coming back around? No longer feeling hurt? Hmm. Is this somebody that when you guys get together, because for me it's fairly strange to see the heartbreak, the like three of swords, the heart, that heartbreak card, and then the eight of cups and how they feel about you. But the four of cups is in reverse. So for me it's like maybe this is an ongoing cycle. When you two get together, you guys are very much in love with each other. And when you have to, is this per, maybe this person is long distance. Perhaps you're in long distance relationships. That's what it's thinking like. And like when you're together, you guys know, this is my soulmate, this is the love of my life. But then when you guys have to leave one another, you get into that like sad feeling because you aren't with this person. You wanna be with this person like all day. I think they know, they trust that when they're gone, that you, you guys are still very much in love with each other, you know, and you spend more time being sad that you're not with the other person versus like out dating other people. So you do not have to worry about that with this person. But it does look like some of you, and this might not resonate with everybody, 
or in long distance relationships with a soulmate twin flame. And it's very difficult when you guys have to leave one another, but you're very emotionally connected. Yeah. Two of cups underneath that walking away four of cups. So it really makes me think that like you guys have to come and go from one another a lot. Like you guys can't just be together because it might be long distance. So you have to rely on visiting each other. And sometimes when you visit one another, you just feel that overwhelming sense of like, oh my God, this is my person. But then when they have to go, you get in, you, you get sad. Oh, Libra. All right, let's see messages to you. The sun card, you're their happiness. You make them happy. And when you're not around, the sun don't shine. The sun don't shine when you're not around. Some Van Morrison for you. I don't like those cards. I don't know why I pulled them out. All right, let's see. Let's get a clarifier for the sun card. Sun card, sun card, clarifier. Ace of Cups, love. They have a lot of, lot of, lot of love for you guys. This person really, really loves you. Decisions, decisions. Do you think this... This person could potentially, like, you guys could be coming up with, like, a more long-term solution right now. This person might be overseas. They might be, like, across country. They might be in, like, a state that's very far away. And they're kind of, when you're not around, the sun is not shining. That is what I keep hearing. They have so much love for you. And they've kind of made a decision. So they might be moving. They might be kind of trying to work out how they can um, be closer to you, kind of pick up and leave and be closer to you, be with you more frequently, you know? Or maybe you're doing this. So let's see your energy moving forward. Knight of Swords, so maybe it's you. Maybe it's you that's moving. Maybe it's you that's moving, giving up this burden, Knight of Wands. So Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. You're trying to make this happen. You guys are trying to make this work. And I think you are sure enough that this is your person to where you are willing to make these sacrifices. Willing to either you be the one that moves or I think you guys are kind of coming up with a plan. The star card keeps wanting to come out. So... <coughs> Yeah, you guys want to make a plan. You're, the wish is going to be fulfilled. You guys are going to be together, and you guys are going to be together more long term. So right now you're kind of cooking up a plan, like who's going to move where, what's going to happen, how are we going to make this work more efficiently for both of us so that we don't have to go through this period of sadness. I'm going to throw down one more card of you for you guys to kind of see what the evolution of this is going to be. All right, let's get one more card for Libra to see what the deal is with this, this relationship. Oh, gosh, I can't get that one. came out. The Nine of Swords in reverse. So for me, that is, for me, that means you guys are coming out of this phase of, like, being constantly hurt like having to go through because it's not the ten of swords where it's like finality it's like that feeling of being like oh like when this person leaves you are very distraught you you can't think straight you can't do like normal activities you just get really in that heartbroken phase there's they do the same thing trust me so you guys are going to work together to find a system that works better for you guys so that is your read for the last week of November. Comment, let me know if it resonates. I want to know if some of you are planning on moving for someone or if someone's planning on moving for you because that came out loud and clear for me. So hope you guys have a great week. Have a great Thanksgiving and keep tuning in. All right, bye.